let's see here the main part of the sign is not dead or alive it's a time factor time factor you know three days and three nights as Jonah was in the belly of the whale so shall the son of man be three days and three nights three is mentioned four times the main important emphasis is three 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 it is not dead or alive I say what is so unique about three if I say I took three days and three nights to reach Delhi is it a miracle what is so miracle about three three days or three weeks it's not a miracle but they say no it is a time factor let's analyze whether Jesus Christ peace be upon him fulfills the time factor which the Christian some Christians say is the main theme of the sign as I said earlier and we know that when we ask the Christian that when was Jesus Christ peace be upon him crucified and according to the Bible the Christians will say on a good Friday so we ask him what is so good about the Friday they say Jesus Christ peace be upon him died for our sins therefore it's a good Friday and if you read that it was the trial was in a hurry they were hurry for the trial they were in a hurry to put him up on the cross they were hurry to get him down because as pastor said no one can stay overnight hanging on the cross on the Sabbath according to he didn't mention the reference Deuteronomy chapter number 21 verse number 23 the land will get cursed so they were hurry to get him down and they give the burial bath and it is by the time late in the evening he's put in the sepulcher late in the evening and according to gospel of John chapter 20 verse 1 it was the first day of the week Sunday morning that the tomb was found empty by Mary Magdalene so supposedly Jesus was in the tomb on Friday night why do I say supposedly because the Bible does not say when does Jesus leave the tomb maybe he left on Friday late night or Saturday morning it doesn't say agreeing that latest he might have left is in early morning on Sunday so Jesus was in the tomb Friday night supposedly he was there in the tomb Saturday day supposedly he was there in the tomb Saturday night supposedly Sunday morning the tomb is empty so he was there for two nights and one day but the sign says three days and three nights three days and three nights as Jonah was in the belly of the whale so shall the son of man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights but Jesus peace be upon him was actually one day and two nights is three days and three nights equal to one day and two nights is it equal three days three nights equal no so even the time factor which they boast about is not fulfilled the real thing is Jesus Christ peace be upon him was alive for a person to be crucified he should die on the cross just to make easy for the pastor in the rebuttal time he has I list the major points proving that he was not crucified he was not resurrected because he was alive if he's alive no crucifixion no resurrection he was put on the cross and brought down very fast in three hours in three hours it's difficult for a person to die therefore Jesus was alive when he's brought down even his two cross mates they are alive proving that even Jesus was alive point number two point number three his legs were not broken what use is a broken leg to a dead man proving that he was alive point number four that the stone was removed and the winding sheets were unbound proving that Jesus peace be upon him was alive point number five that he was disguised as a gardener why because he was alive trying to be saved from the Jews point number six the tomb was roomy it was spacious what use is a spacious tomb for a dead person proving Jesus was alive point number seven that when Mary Magdalene goes to touch Jesus peace be upon him he says touch me not why he was a physical body he was alive it will hurt him he was in pain proving that he was alive Jesus peace be upon him says that I have not yet ascended unto my father that means he was alive point number nine Mary Magdalene not of recognizing Jesus peace be upon him point number ten that in the upper room he shows his hands and feet to prove that he was not a spirit but he was alive point number eleven that they were overjoyed to see him why because they thought he's dead and the spirit form they were overjoyed to see because he was alive point number twelve he ate a piece of broiled fish and honeycomb to prove that he was alive the disciples had heard from Mary Magdalene that he was alive point number fourteen 
the sign of Jonah. As Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth, alive, alive, alive. If he's alive, no crucifixion, no resurrection. So in short, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was put on the cross, according to the Bible, but he did not die. Now, the topic is, was Christ really crucified? If he's put on the cross and if he dies, he's crucified. If he's put on the cross and does not die, what is one word that we'll use? See, English language is deficient. If you look up in the dictionary for a word, for a person who's put on the cross but does not die, you will not find any word. So we have to coin new word. The best word that we can coin is that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified, but he was crucifixed. It is not crucifixion, C-R-U-C-I-F-I-X-I-O-N, but it is crucifixion, C-R-U-C-I-F-I-C-T-I-O-N. It's a fiction. We have to coin a new word. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucifixed. He was crucifixed. So I hope this ends the friction and the pastor will agree and the confusion will be removed from his mind that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified. There is no crucifixion, F-I-X-7, but crucifixion, F-I-C-T-I-O-N. I'd like to end my talk by giving the quotation of the glorious Quran from Surah Al-Imran, chapter number three, verse number 54, which says, wa makaru wa makarallahu, wallahu khairul makreen. They planned and plotted. Allah too planned. Allah is the best of planners. Wa akhru dawana, alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin.